beautiful Scorpios. Welcome to your bonus reading, beloveds. I will, every single one of you lovely souls are feeling amazing. Everything is everything on my side of the planet. I will, it, it is all peace on yours. Today, I felt compelled to do a bonus reading. Um, I did a little, you know, made it nice and short and sweet for you all uh, the other day, but I do feel like there's more. Uh, there's a lot, lot going on. I have to keep echoing that, that point and that fact uh, that there's a lot going on. I keep it my... Uh, I make it my business to stay out of other people's business. Uh, so I don't like to speak on world events. I don't like to talk about what's going on out there because I live in my own bubble, literally. Uh, some people may see that as a problem. Uh, I see that as, you know, protecting my peace. Uh, so I will that if any of you are affected by any of the events that have been taking place these past couple of days during the Scorpionic energy, uh, I'm sending you love and light, healing energy, beloveds. Uh, definitely turn off the news. Definitely ground yourselves. Get out in nature more. Uh, do some more meditation. Definitely connect with your, your higher self more. Uh, uh, and ascend beyond uh, the need to to be a part of the shenanigans that go on uh, with these with these world events. You know, a lot of people don't realize how they harvest uh, energy. You know, if they could get you to pay attention to certain things, then your intention is what they use against you. Uh, your intention is your magic. That's your your special sauce. That's your fly sauce. You know, and so if they could get you to watch it. 30 second video seeing somebody falling off a roof or blowing somebody away uh you know it's just like that you're allowing your energy to be summoned to be used and they use it every month during every full moon there's always something tragic happening right around that same time and if you think of what the lunar energy means it is derivative of the word lunatic is derivative i should say of the word lunar and that lunar energy is the moon so they are very hip and very wise uh you know and this is how they control billions of people on the planet by doing the same thing over and over uh you know basically you know, convincing you that the devil doesn't exist. You know, it's just, it's no different than the Wizard of Oz, you know. So we have to realize that we have to pull that sheet back, you know, and, and, and pull the curtain back and see who's really, you know, manipulating and pushing these buttons. Uh, so I said all of that to say, uh, I will that you all take a step back, uh, ground yourselves, get out in nature, Receive those downloads. There's a lot of downloads taking place right now. And and do more internal work. Fo focus more so on you. Don't focus on what's going on externally. You have no control over that. Uh, you can only control it when you can control thyself. When you know thyself, then you can con control your own reality. Um, so I, I really... Um, I encourage you all uh, to just be safe out here, to protect yourselves, to love on yourselves, beloved. Um, so let's tap and tune in. I'm not going to do too much talking today. I'm going to do things a little differently. Uh, so I have a couple of decks out and I'm going to pull a card from different decks uh, to pull the energy for overall energy, what you're attracting, who you're attracting, rather, who or what you're attracting, I should say, how they feel about you, what's hidden in the energy and your outcome. And then I will clarify those those cards, those messages. Uh, so I just felt compelled to do something differently uh, as spirit spoke to my soul today and said, Scorpios need to read it. Um, if you are new here, welcome, beloveds. I hope you stay a while. Hope my energy, the way that I read, uh, you know, resonates with your energy that you vibe with me. Um, and if you do, don't be shy. Hit the like button, hit the bell notification. Definitely hit the uh, subscribe button so that you can become a member of the Soul Tribe Soul Family Beloveds. If you are returning, you already know what it is. Love is love is love. Mwah. I love you all. I appreciate you all. I'm not going to take too much more of your time. We're going to do some house cleaning and then we shall proceed with the read. Ashe. I call upon the elements of water, 
fire, earth, air, ether, and spirit, Ashe. I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ancestors, ascended masters, spirit guides, deities, animal totems, earth, mother Gaia, universe, source, the divine, most high God, our creator, to shine a powerful, powerful message of love and of light. I call personally upon Baba Obatala, Mama Oya, and Baba Ogun to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards. Help me to pick up on the energy, number, synchronicity, and vibrations of my cards. And so it is. So mote it be. Ashe. 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 So who do we have playing on playlist? And it is currently 554. And we have Jill Scott. And this is called, what is this? It's called whatever. So I do feel like um, what I'm hearing is down for whatever. Um, I'm also hearing whatever. Like I'm hearing that like like that in my mind's eye. Uh, so with that 554, that breaks down to five. Because uh, anything going into five, I mean nine is five. So with that if with that five i'm definitely getting a sense of change uh you you've seen something you've seen something shift right before your eyes and this time around you're not falling for the okie doke uh maybe somebody you've noticed someone's uh deceptive communication or you've realized someone is fake uh someone is a snake cuz you're like whatever like you you don't even got the time for the nonsense um i feel like you've been very kind to this person and we have 555 now so the time has turned to 555 i feel like with that 555 breaking down to 15 which is 6 i get a sense of now you've seen something like your intuition has showed you something something has led to you now seeing the truth of the matter so you're using your discernment and that's what's telling you to I feel like leave something behind. You're not even you're not even sweating it. It's because that whatever is just like whatever, like whatever. <laughs> you you are not sweating it. Uh, it's like it's like out of sight, out of mind to you almost. It's like you're beyond you're beyond that. So this is powerful energy. Uh, so let's tap and see what the cards have to say. We're gonna pull some messages from the numerology first. So we have 78 here. So that's 15. That's six. So a lot of you, just as I said, very in tune, very tapped in. I feel like some of you all have a very promising spiritual career ahead of you. This card has shown up, come out, and I can say probably the last five, six readings. So you Scorpios have some powerful, psychic, intuitive, channeling scrying esoteric occult knowledge that you are here to disseminate or impart to the collective to the masses it's like you have been chosen beloved i feel with this energy with whatever i feel like you know you could do whatever you want or you're about to embark on something that you really truly feel passionate about it's like you're moving on because i'm also getting like the six of swords so you're moving away from troubled waters from murky waters from confusing energy from things that were not your uh that wasn't like really sitting right in your spirit it was almost as if you were settling to some degree because some of these things that you were uh uh accepting whether it was perhaps a job um whether it was perhaps a relationship whether it was you know settling for a particular location or you know whatever this is it's like you're no longer doing that it's like whatever you're going after whatever you desire and i feel like a lot of you all are embarking upon some new business plan and you're doing whatever you want to do in this cycle we have the six and the six here so it says love so I feel with that six, the love, this is like the lovers and the lovers is depicted by that masculine and feminine energy, that yin yang. So I feel this is really indicative of you being in balance, in harmony, in equilibrium with yourself. And because you are now in equilibrium with yourself, you have evolved into that divine feminine, divine masculine, because that's literally what self mastery is learning, growing, and then you evolve, then you mature. So the six and six breaks down to 12, which is three. You have looked at something and assessed it 
and you saw it for what it truly was. Maybe you didn't see yourself in the same you know, you know, you didn't know your self worth. Uh, maybe some of you didn't have self love and you had to do some healing so that you can, you know, love yourself so that you now can be in the position to know thyself because the three is associated with the the empress energy and that empress is very self aware. So I feel like some of you dealt with heartache and loss and pain in your past and you had to sit down analyze that and navigate that work through that with the 12 because that 12 is like the hangman so spirit put you in a very sacrificial position so that you can look at yourself and analyze yourself because you can only heal yourself you know your your healing is your responsibility and i feel that's exactly what you did and now that you've healed thyself now you could go and help others heal. Now you can impart whatever knowledge, whatever you've learned and, and help others to navigate their tough terrain. But I feel like the love of self grew the more healing you did. I also feel like when you uh, exude love, when you love yourself, you are more attractive. And I see 1111 on the clock right now. So you could be attracting your twin flame, your soulmate. And we have Floetry singing, waiting in vain. So some of you all could have been waiting for love in vain, and it's because you was doing some healing. And, you know, good things take time to create. You, it is very ignorant to start a relationship or a love ship right after you break off for, with someone because you're not giving yourself the grace or the time to heal, you know, and to grow. Um and to even know thyself. So when you go through something traumatic, it's important to heal thyself so that you can learn to love thyself. And then when you love thyself, you then know thyself. And then when you know thyself, you then can establish boundaries and you're then more uh, susceptible to like, you know, attracting what you are. When you are bruised and damaged, you're going to attract other bruised and damaged folks because you attract what you are. And so I feel like now um, there's a sense of you, uh, you know, having, um, you know, just this radiance as that three, uh, the empress or the emperor, depending on uh, who's tuning and tapping in to, you know, attract something that's divinely meant for you. So this was all a matter of divine timing. Uh, perhaps someone could be mustering up the strength to come towards you with that waiting in vain uh, because someone with waiting in vain and it's a now officially six o'clock on the dot um i get a sense and it probably turned i don't know if you saw the six or you saw six or one but it was six o'clock on the dot so this is someone with waiting in vain um maybe they're waiting for the right chance right right opportunity to come towards you what we have on the bottom of the deck is we have two patients see that so waiting in waiting in vain so this is someone patiently waiting uh for the right opportunity like because they don't want to like miss their shot so they're trying to wait for the right time to shoot their shot so they're choosing you know the right time this is someone that's hidden i feel like this could be a secret admirer i feel like this could be someone um you know that's choosing you this is a choice that they've made they've already sat with the with the ideas or sat with uh you know what they're feeling with their plan and they're going to choose to come towards you and good things take time to create so this is someone who's going to go with the flow especially with flowetry singing wait in vain i feel like spirit is telling you to go with the flow but also trust your intuition uh when you know someone comes in because there is a sense you know that you know if this is someone coming back that you're gonna you know uh you know from your past uh there's a sense that you may have choices here so you know that's why spirit is saying like use your intuition uh two is also associated with the sacral chakra and so this is about again moving to the beat of your drum and prioritizing you this time around uh someone also could see you as you know someone that they could have an uh equal exchange of give and take someone that they can build with someone that speaks their love language someone that they can you know you know um cultivate and 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 uh, have that happily ever after or have that love story this is someone that's feels like they've been waiting for a while also with that waiting in vain and then we have um r kelly down low 
So someone has been secretly admiring you from a distance and they're just waiting for the opportune time, waiting for the right time because they want to get it right. Good things take time to create. I keep hearing on the bottom of the deck. Look what we have. Spiritual partnership. I can't make this up. This person feels a sacred connection to you, Scorpios. This card has also showed up a gazillion times in your reading. You are attracting a very special connection, sacred connection. This is someone that loves you. They feel like your whole you know, two holes, two halves make a whole, but two holes. How does it go? Two halves make a whole, but two holes make a, a couple. And so that's how they see you. They feel like they can have, as I said, an equal exchange of give and take. Because when you are, um, you know, when you have two, two holes, that means that you both have done the necessary work to heal that self. One is associated with the root chakra. So a lot of you, if you've had to navigate from, you know, childhood traumas, familial traumas, uh, past life traumas, if you had to heal from that, I feel like you've done just that. You've healed you found balance you're now in equilibrium emotionally mentally spiritually and now there is this uh you know this this receptivity to love and so when you are in that space where you are feeling very uh very perpendicular um you're not perpendicular but you're standing erect you're standing strong standing firm you know who you are uh it's like you are attracting someone in your likeness. You're attracting a like mind. Uh, and this person, you have a very spiritual, sacred uh, connection, chemistry. This is someone that you will feel uh, familiarity and similar similarity with this person because this is someone that does uh, see you as a wish fulfillment. They see you as single as well and self-sufficient and independent. They see you as someone who is a visionary, like you have have worked hard to get to where you are even if where you are isn't where you want to be it's like wherever you are right now they are impressed with where you are because they knew you um maybe this is someone that like i said a secret admirer and they've been following and watching and so they've seen the work you know, they've seen the work ethic. They see how much you love yourself now. Maybe in the past, that was a part of your, you know, soul's journey is to, you know, to learn self-love. Because uh, Scorpios can fall into the trap uh, where they are giving more than they're receiving because you are that, you know, you're seen as that maternal energy. You're seen as the matriarch or uh, the paternal energy, the patriarch of your family because of your emotional uh, intelligence. Uh, so, you know, maybe this is someone now sees you in the light of where you're loving yourselves. You're single, uh, you're, you know, enjoying your singlehood. Uh, you're taking care of yourself uh, with this R. Kelly down low. I do feel that is just speaking to someone being very, you know, quiet quiet and hush about how they feel. We're about to pull the energy for the person that you're attracting. So with this 27 love um, spiritual partnership, I do feel that some, excuse me, someone will confess that they do have love. They do have some ador you know, adoration or they do admire you. So let's see what we have. I'm going to pull the card from Energy Oracle. So look at that. So who or what you're attracting to you? It says door to personal healing and happiness. So this is gorgeous because this is something that's going to bring joy, bliss, peace, happiness. Look at that. Number 34. This is someone rushing in very confidently because I'm seeing the chariot. But this is also someone who feels like they have, you know, they've planted some sort of seeds. There's a sense of familiarity, as I said, because I'm also getting like the seven of pentacles. And this door is wide open. So I feel like this person is wide open to you. Maybe in the past, this person was attached to someone else. So that's why this door, this window of opportunity is opening up now because maybe they have gotten rid. Maybe that's why it was requiring patience because they had to make a choice or a decision between you and someone else. And I feel like they're choosing you because they see you as a like mind and equal. They see you as someone that they could build with. They see you as an asset and not a liability. I feel like they broke free from some sort of like, you know, ties or some sort of um, connection that they felt bound and stuck and anxious, you know, a lot of anxiety and stress. And now this door 
to healing and happiness. That could even be your energy where you're coming out of a period of time where there was a lot of anxiety and stress and just overwhelming uh, concern about, you know, having a lot on your plate. You know, uh, you was dealing with a lot, juggling a lot of responsibilities, feeling overwhelmed, feeling overburdened, not really, you know, delegating as you should, uh, perhaps out of pride, out of ego, or maybe you just felt like you couldn't really rely on anyone. But I do see that period is wrapping up because you have the door to personal healing and happiness here on the split. We have all tied up. So you see that. So in the past, this is what was going on. I said all tied up. I said, I mean, I said all like bound and stuck and look at this energy. So that's why, um, you know, this door is finally opening up because I feel like you've cut those karmic cords or whatever you're attracting, whomever you're attracting, they were bound and stuck in a situation, confused and conflicted, you know, and now there is a sense where this freed dome, you know, someone has freed their dome with this seven and this five, maybe they've learned from you because in the numerology deck, 57 is, um, associated with the teaching and learning card. So I do get a sense of someone like learning from you and through watching and learning your growth and your uh, development, they are now uh, learning how to uh, sever the ties that were binding them. They're learning how to break free and cut the karmic cords, yokes, hexes, and spells in their life. This person was dealing with someone that was very hostile. So that's why they were very anxious. This person, you see this, this is someone they freely gave their heart to and they realize that they were perhaps sleeping with the enemy we got eight eight here 16 that's seven this could even be like self-deception so this person could have like rejected you and was stuck in a connection with someone or this could be you giving your heart to someone that was very hostile very uh verbally abusive aggressive just stoic um someone who was um you know uh oof I just get a like a know-it-all from this energy. I just get someone who's very temperamental, you know. And when I look at it from this direction, maybe you wisened up and you, you know, started to, you know, pull back from this person. You know, and the more you pulled back, the more hostile they began. But I feel like, you know, that self-love and that 4-4, four, four, that the fours are always associated with angelic presence, the ascended masters as well. Or just your higher self, I should say, because three is associated with the ascended masters, but four is associated with the angels as well. So I do get a sense of like this person, um, you you learned something about this person and what you learned was they were very deceptive. And that's why you appear to be like pulling your love away, pulling your heart, like not really giving yourself to this person, you know? Yeah, powerful. And we have... Um, Aaron Hall, and this is called Don't Be Afraid. So, yeah. So, like, I feel like you learn to be fearless, you know? So, whoever this person is, okay, so, or whatever you're attracting to you. So, we have, look at that. We have the door to value now. So, the door to value, and that's the number 31. So, that reduces to four. So, this is like financial fulfillment. And then you have this number 53, that's eight. And this is the magician and the mirror. So what you're attracting to you, you could be attracting like a wealthy person. You could be attracting like opportunities, blessings. This is like money is flowing in. But this door, it could be seen as opening or closing. So it's like a window of opportunity or a door uh, that's opening up and there's an opportunity. This could be something that you've manifested. Uh, maybe this is someone that will be very generous or someone who's very wealthy. With this door to value, this seven and this eight, that breaks down to 15 that's six. So this is about a decision or uh, an action that you're taking. Wherever you're moving to, whatever your whatever decisions you're choosing, it's leading to a very uh, prosperous or successful outcome. And I feel you have a lot to do with manifesting this. This could even be like a wish fulfillment, a blessing, an answered prayer, a miracle that takes place. This is a monetary gift. So this is what you're attracting. So you're attracting something um, that is going to provide some form of financial freedom, uh, a supply. And we have six chakra archangel Me uh, Metatron, pardon me, and uh, on the bottom of the deck. So as I said, trust your intuition. Just trust your intuition with whatever is presented or proposed, uh, whatever it is 
come whatever's coming towards you just trust your intuition and we have um usher featuring p diddy and this is called you don't have to call you don't have to call it's okay girl because i'm gonna be all right tonight so maybe that's someone's sentiment like you don't have to call it's okay because maybe they communicate through different means with this six you know um sixth chakra so use discernment you know because maybe someone is um this is the, like their sentiment maybe you're picking up on that you know we do have to look at that so you could be meditating to get things straight this is how they feel about you like you don't have to call you know, because they still they still checking in on you regardless. They're still communicating with you. They do feel you're highly intuitive or psychic or you're a channeler. Like they feel like you are tapped and tuned in. Like you could be on hermit mode on that ass. Like you're not communicating with nobody. You know, they can see you as very abundant, very successful. All right, so let's tap into it. Let's see what we got coming and going out going on with my beloved Scorpios. So let's see how they feel about you. Remember, I said I'm going to pull a card from different decks for each of these. Um, so look at that. I spoke on communication. This card just came out in a collective reading that I just did. So there is communication. I feel like this person, how they feel about you is they want to speak to you, especially with you don't have to call. It's okay, girl. So they could be like almost like, you know, it, it, it's like you i said this in the collective energy so this could also resonate for scorpios um but it's almost like the silence is deafening like the silence is so loud it bothers them and how they feel about you is they want to talk to you i'm hearing they want to hear your voice it's like when they hear they your voice they could put you know a face to the voice you know it's almost like it, it it brings back memories a rush of memories a rush even of emotions and so we have two and four that's six six and eight that's 14 that's five again so that's definitely someone who does want to communicate that's someone that wants to communicate because this is five and then we got we're about to pull how they feel about you so this is they want to open up it's like they, they it's almost like they want you to call you know but they're not calling either you know they really want to speak to you but their pride and ego is what's preventing them from speaking you know is, is preventing them from you know taking action so let's tap in. Let's see what the cards have to say, beloveds. See that? I told y'all. This person loves your ass. Look at that. They love you. They love them some you. We got the six harmony. So they feel like you're the yin to their yang. With the six and five, there's no communication. So they send you messages telepathically, I feel, because this is another six. This is also like the lovers. This could be like the six of cups as well. Look at the, you know, vibration of love. It's like just the touch, the mere, you know, sound of your voice. Just setting eyes, laying eyes on you. It's like they will, they, they just melt. I'm hearing they just literally melt. This person misses you like crazy. You don't have to call. It's okay. See that? Causing a mental mental anxiety, stress, because there's no communication. They're stuck in two minds, confused, conflicted. Look at this emotional withdrawal. So this could be literally your energy because how they feel about you. We're about to pull the energy for how they feel about you. And so they feel really conflicted that you are you have taken time to work on you, to love you, to heal you, to ground you. You know, like I said before, like Scorpios are always the ones giving, always so loyal, always the ones that are so attentive uh, to the ones around them, very loving and caring. And um, maybe the time that you've taken, you know, from these individuals to focus on yourself, it's like this is how they feel. You know, it's almost like you are, you know, you have a very loving, healing, maternal energy. And it's like in your absence, they miss you. Look at that. Rest and rejuvenate and, and emotional withdrawal. So they feel you have really, uh, you know, detached. Uh, you're very detached from them. And with this 12, I feel like it causes them a lot of pain, you know, a lot of hurt. You know, because in both of these cards, it's like you're taking time out for yourself. This is, you know, this is uh, me time that, just, that you are, you know, um, taking for you. 
This is called self-love. You're resting, rejuvenating. You're, you're grounding yourself. So let's tap in. Let's see how this person feels for our beloved Scorpios. Let's tap in, tune in, get a message of peace, power, and protection spirit. And we have Jill Scott, and this is called I Keep Still Here. So yeah, this person definitely is still here, still thinking about you. See that? Still thinking about you while you over here getting it. You know, you, you over here getting it, beloved. Like you are materially and spiritually prosperous, abundant, because you've taken the time to work on you, to love you, to take, you know, to uh, embark upon your dreams, hopes, and desires to prioritize you. Just like I said, with this too, that sacral chakra, you know, that's about, you know, self knowing your self-worth, your self-value, but that's about, you know, moving to the beat of your drum, doing things that are in, aligned with, with your purpose, you know? So let's tap in. Let's see what we have coming in. Let's see why this, how this person feels about our beloved Scorpios. Let's see how this person feels about our beloved Scorpios. Let me get a message. Peace, power, and protection spirit. Bottom of the deck will be the energy. So see that? They feel hurt, pain. They feel a lot of hurt and pain. Wow, I told y'all. I saw that. They feel this emotional loss. They feel like you're gone, like you've left. With I keep still here, it's like they're still holding on to you, to this connection. I feel like they're also, you know, very... Um, because this five and this three, it's like, you know, you walked away from this connection because maybe you didn't feel like there was any reciprocity or give equal give and take. You know, you felt like you was juggling a lot on your own. You felt like this person could have been juggling a lot or maybe they was definitely, um, you know, kind of like uh, indecisive about what they wanted. Maybe you felt they were manipulative. Maybe you felt like they were money hungry. Maybe you felt a lot of things. I feel with this, what's hidden energy we're about to pull, it says stand your ground. So I do feel like this is, again, spirit's way of telling you, uh, trust your intuition. The seven is, you know, telling me this person may come towards you feeling more assertive, feeling more confident. You're sitting here minding you. So you don't even know this person has been doing all of this work. This is like personal growth, you know, because this person may have been very... Um, reserved in the past maybe they was too cool for school didn't really express how they felt didn't really emote uh wasn't ever vulnerable with you and so now maybe they're going to stand up for what they believe in maybe now they've learned some valuable lessons you know and so they may come towards you uh i feel like they see you as someone who's just kind of you know almost disconnected you know like you're just like really working on you healing growing uh maybe you have been just you know, purging a lot of things out of your life. So, you know, this has caused a lot of pain. They feel heart, heartache and loss. You know, they feel like you are, um, you're, that you are distant, you know, but they desire to communicate that five is also the throat chakra. So they feel this pain, you know, from not speaking to you, from not communicating and expressing their desires. So with stand your ground, I feel like spirit is reminding you to, again, you know, trust your intuition um, and do what feels right, sits right in your spirit. This isn't about appeasing and pleasing, you know, so let's tap in. They feel you're also a beautiful human. So they see you as like an earth angel, perhaps someone who's very kind. So the train is going by. So absolutely distance. I feel like there's absolute distance between you and this person. So what we have is hidden on, um, hidden in the energy. What's on the bottom of the deck is we have your hard work is paying off. So someone is working very hard on themselves or hard on a project. Uh, we have on the split, nothing is set in stone. So maybe if this person or you thought that this situation was done, done, thin, over, wrap it up. Spirit saying, not necessarily so. You know, perhaps someone has learned a lesson. Perhaps someone will uh, show you something different this time around. They will be very intentional. So we have a card that slipped out and chose itself. It's actually two cards. And what we have on the bottom of the deck, it says, work through your fears. So someone is afraid or 
you know, a little intimidated, perhaps. Maybe they're working on their confidence. This is in Scorpio. So we're in Scorpio um, energy. This is a new moon in Scorpio, but we are currently in that full moon Scorpionic energy. Pluto is in retrograde right now. Mercury's in retrograde right now. We have a solar eclipse right now. We also are in Taurus season. So there's a lot going on celestially. So everyone at this particular time is being forced to work through their fears. Fears are nothing more than false evidence appearing real or fal um, false expectations appearing real. So you have to face everything and rise so that you can have the outcome that you desire. So the what's hidden is we have confidence is your key to success. So someone needs to stand up, brave their light, be courageous, be bold, and go after what they want. So that's like that solar plexus energy, uh, confidence. So someone could really be, um, mustering up the strength, the courage, and the wise dome to take this action. So they are working on themselves. And then we have prosperity lies ahead. So there is a positive outcome when someone does uh, brave their light or own their power or lean in their strength, on their strength. There is something positive taking place. And remember, we are in Taurus season. So during this season, I feel like something positive, something abundant, and something expansive is going to take place in Scorpio's life. Uh, because there is a sense of like, you know, you feeling completely confident, you feeling, um, you know, very sure, uh, about not only yourself or, uh, but also about whatever it is that you are embarking upon or working on, or maybe this is just someone who is hidden that is feeling this sense of confidence because they've been healing and growing and working on themselves. And now they're ready and prepared, uh, perhaps to take action, uh, with, I keep still here. This is someone, uh, from your past. Maybe this is someone very relentless. Uh, I'm hearing, um, before, I let go, don't you, don't you, don't you, don't you, don't you, don't I can't let you go. I can't let you go. No, no. That's what I'm hearing so loud in my mind that I had to sing the song. So this is someone that, you know, I know, I know. Oh, God, like it's, I'm hearing it so loud, like it's playing. So this is someone who's like literally before they let you go. It's like they're coming in very confidently. I feel like they're going to speak something. Um, they're going to express something that they have been feeling that you may not have ever heard. This could have been also someone that could have broke your heart, disappointed you, rejected you. Maybe it was unrequited in the past uh, and you had to heal from that loss or from that pain. Um, you know, and, and now this person may have you know, have discovered some feelings, you know, discovered some feelings that they were harboring for you. But let's tap in and tune in and see what else, what other messages you have, beloveds. And so we got I Wish Here by Carl Thomas. So this person definitely sees you as a wish fulfillment. I feel like you will receive a wish fulfillment because I Wish is playing right now. And so that's powerful. And so look what we have here. It says Guardian Familiar. So remember, I was saying I was feeling like you, you, you know, there was some sense of familiarity, similarity uh, with someone. So I do get a sense of there being um, something very sacred about this connection. Uh, this is a connection that there's a lot of chemistry. I feel with this guardian and this cat, cats are very impervious to threat. And with that, you know, that star right on the first eye of this cat, I feel like spirit is just reiterating uh, what I said about trusting your intuition and using discernment because, you know, I feel this person could potentially, you know, we are dealing and navigating a lot of celestial energy right now. So it could be just the energy bringing this person back to you. Uh, to distract you, you know, maybe you have something completely different that you should be embarking upon. Uh, and so I do feel like, you know, that spirit just reemphasizing, um, you know, trust your intuition, or perhaps spirit is saying that when this person comes into your life, enters into your life, I feel like you will know this is the person because you will feel uh, a sense of familiarity, a sense of similarity. So that's very powerful. So let's tap in. And with that frog there, I feel like they're going to leap right into your life. I feel like spirit also could be saying, if you get that feeling, take the leap. Dang, I just, I just 
rip this card. Look at that. You see that? So this card chose itself. We got a uh, watchtower. So this person does watch you, perhaps during the autumn time. Maybe some of you were born. Um, of course, if you are Scorpios, you were born during autumn. So that's that could be something. Maybe you've been, you know, kind of patiently waiting for something since, you know, your last solar return. Or maybe this person is watching you and will take uh, action during, you know, autumn season. But I just get a sense of timing, like divine timing. That's like a bonus message. So that autumn with these leaves falling, I guess spirit is saying, yeah, you know, something is going to, um, something is going to transpire perhaps during the autumn season. And then we have Watchtower Summer. So maybe, maybe this will happen either between autumn and summertime. Maybe this is saying the person that you are attracting was born uh, during the autumn time or during the summertime. Either or. Um, so this could be another uh, Scorpio or another um, perhaps a Libra. Or this could be, you know, someone who is a Gemini, uh, Cancer, or perhaps a Leo. Because we have the summertime here. So let's see what the overall energy is. And with this wish, I feel like there's a wish coming true, perhaps, in pertinence to love. So let's see. What is the... Um, oh, I'm sorry. I'm pulling that for the wrong card. Pardon me. This goes over here. I was showing that with patience. But with this here, this jumped out, and I'm going to pull another card. So let me get one more card. Thank you, Spirit. Wow. Okay. So you got a couple of cards. I can't make this up either. So we got Grounding. And this is Earth. We are in Taurus season. So that's exactly how that person was seeing you. Remember, uh, they saw you as rest and rejuvenate. They also saw you as, you know, emotional withdrawal. Uh, so what we have here is we have cleansing. So that's exactly what you were doing, cleansing your energy, getting rid of anything from the past. So as I said, in order for you to be able to know thyself, you have to first heal thyself so that you can love thyself and then you know thyself. So you've done the necessary steps. Maybe this person is kind of mimicking and mirroring you because I was getting a sense of like teaching and learning, them learning from you, growing. Also, uh, we have this spring so with spring, I feel like there's been some cleaning. I feel like maybe this person is ready to spring into action because they've been watching. This could be another water sign, someone that realizes they love you. Uh, this is someone who's ready to spring into action. I heard, and look at this Ace of Cups. So this is beautiful. So there is a love connection with the Watchtower, uh, Autumn, and uh, the uh, Watchtower. So it's Watchtower of the West, East, and it's uh, spring and autumn on the card. So this person could live east of you, west of you. You could be on the east coast or the west coast if you're tuning and tapping in. Um, this person's also looking at you as someone that they have deep attraction, love. There are two people on this card. So that's like yin-yang energy. So they do feel that you are the one. You are the one that got away, perhaps. You are someone that they love very dearly. This is someone that does feel like you are... You know, someone that they can have that equal give and take. You know, the aces are always a gift from the divine. That's a blessing from the divine. The divine hands this chalice. So this is someone that wants to offer this cup. And this is speaking to emotional fulfillment. This could even speak to the healing, the cleansing, you know, that you have done on yourselves. That emotional withdrawal has been very uh, therapeutic. It's been very healing to you, your energy, your vibration, Especially when you go through uh, any type of emotional loss, pain, withdrawal, uh, it's very important to work on yourself. So you've become a healer of sorts, uh, Scorpio. We have Jill Scott. One is the magic number. And so with that one, the Ace of Chalices, that's about you healing thyself. You can only, uh, you know, like I said, uh, self-love, that's an inside job. So in order for you to attract love, you have to radiate and vibrate on the frequency of love. And you can only do that if you are um, feeling healthy, if you are healed uh, from past pains, wounds, and traumas. I just saw 43, 43 on the clock. That's 7-7. Seven, seven. And in the numerology deck, 7-7 seven, seven is the spirituality card. So that speaks to you having a very sacred connection with someone which is what this card uh echoed and
and look I just spoke to the spirituality card and it's right underneath that as I was showing you this so I just saw 43 43 in the clock and I just saw 444 when I was telling you it was 43 43 so this is spirit saying you have a divine counterpart a sacred connection you know you have someone very sacred coming in seven seven spirituality so you and this person are mirroring one another maybe they are learning um you know to you know to do their own um you know shadow work uh so that they can come towards you uh with this jill scott you know one is the magic number they do feel like you're the one you're the one that got away they do feel like they could have equal exchange of give and take they do feel that you speak their love language and they're absolutely in love with you i do get a sense four 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 your angels are absolutely conspiring behind the scenes to align you and this person there is no doubt about it no question about it at all all beloveds you have something very beautiful something very sacred that's coming in towards you so let's tap in tune and we're gonna get some additional messages clarify these messages see what we get what we get beloveds let's see all right on the bottom of the deck we have the page of cups so there's a message of love somebody is definitely going to come in and express how they feel because now they feel more confident this is what they're working on is their confidence they're working on their master plan give me one moment it's getting very dark in this room so definitely a message of love and uh you know that's coming in it's still it's a page so this is that person that's still working on their confidence so emotionally they're not you know necessarily on your level um emotionally because you are you know in that divine feminine energy but i do feel like this person is definitely trying so this is beautiful because it sees this person sees you as you know very um very very self-sufficient very uh oh, hi katara you can't lay right here my lovely <laughs> you know they see you as very self-sufficient independent um oh my god she's literally trying to lay right here all right so the, you can't lay on my cord my friend please 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 friend all right so they see you as very confident they see you as very uh independent self-sufficient um you have a message coming and you don't even realize it because you could be so focused on your goals um you could be so focused on you know pursuing um or embarking upon some sort of dream um but this is definitely you know someone that's uh you know watching you privately quietly uh this is someone hidden you know and maybe during this full moon this person may may reach out you may get a message see that it goes the heartache and loss you know and i feel like you've turned pain into power so something that you have experienced because remember how they feel about you is this three of um this uh, emotional loss which is equivalent to like the three of swords so maybe they have regrets for perhaps something that could have transpired in the past maybe there was a third party because there's three swords straight to the heart you know and so with this queen of pentacles it's like you recovered nicely it's like you know you've definitely taken the necessary time to heal taking the necessary time to take onus for what you may have um contributed to the confusion but it's like now you are uh independent self-sufficient you're seen as guarded now you know so you may not be allowing just anybody into your life because you are not trying to experience that type of pain that type of disappointment again um and we have temperance here so that's the same as uh patience so I feel like spirit, you know, has told you, uh, take the time to get things right. Um, you got to learn to love yourself. You have to learn to pour into your own cup before you can give to someone else. That's part of what I was saying about that, that one, you know, the one, you know, two halves make a whole, but two holes make a couple. And so this is literally what you did. You had to learn to pour into yourself self-love your angels have guided you they've taught you balance the importance of being balanced being emotionally uh you know in tune and tapped in i feel someone was confused conflicted and they made a decision which led to heartache maybe you didn't see something for what it clearly was and you you know because i see these clouds so something definitely uh wasn't what it appeared to be you could have been uh expecting something to turn out one way and it turned out a completely different way so let's tap in and we have tyrese best of me playing right now so i i feel like you didn't let anyone get the best of you i definitely get a sense of like you know now they're seeing you you know in um you know in a different light 
you know, they're very, hi, friend. Oh, that friend, do That baby, 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 friend. Oh, that pretty girl. Yeah, they're seeing you in a different light now. And they see that you didn't let, you know, this type of pain and loss, you know, uh, you know, get the best of you. It's like you just continue to work on yourself. That's why they saw you as like uh, meditating, um, you know, withdrawal, you know, and now they want to take the leap of faith. You know, now someone wants to take a chance, but I feel like now you're in a position where you're going to have to take, um, you're going to have to take, uh, you know, um, make the right decision, not take, but make, you know, some sort of right decision. And that's why spirit is saying uh, to trust your intuition, because this could be someone from the past that hurt you, uh, perhaps, you know, so let's tap in tune and see what we got coming in, going out, going on for my beautiful Scorpios. And then we're going to wrap up. Ah, shale. Let's see what we got. Spirit, what messages do you have for my beautiful Scorpios? There we go. Bottom of the deck will clarify the overall energy of patience. And we have the Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups came out twice, so there's no doubt about it. That's why Spirit is telling you to be patient. So you got the Ace of Cups here in the outcome. And then you also have the Ace of Cups here. You know, um, here. Why was I showing you that? You got the Ace of Cups twice. So there's definitely new love, fresh love. This could be like, you know, again, um, just speaking to not only you healing, but another person healing because I was getting the two of cups. So the ace is literally the one. So with this, I was getting the two of cups because I was feeling like that's why spirit was telling you to be patient because, you know, as you're healing, someone else will heal. As you're, uh, you know, doing your um, shadow work and growing and learning to love yourself and healing from past wounds and traumas, so is the person you're attracting. So I do feel like that's why spirit is saying be patient because patience is all about, you know, it's, it's about, um, you know, the divine timing of things. You don't know when something is meant to come in, uh, especially if the divine is the one orchestrating it. So this is about like kind of like easing up, relinquishing control so that spirit could do what it does. On the bottom of the deck, we have the seven of wands. So I do feel like what you're attracting to you, spirit is saying, you got to kind of ease up a little bit. Don't be so guarded. Don't be so um, defensive even uh, because you are, whatever you've been manifesting, it's like, uh, you have to be receptive to it because I do feel like this is uh, a matter of like, you know, there's only a certain amount of time because uh, this door, as I said, it could be seen as opening or shutting. So, you know, depending upon the circumstance, this could be, um, you know, a matter of timing. So you want to be open and receptive and not closed off. So whoever this person is or whatever this circumstance is, is something that you've manifested and you may not uh, realize it initially. Um, but let's tap in. So who or what is, uh, why is this uh, 31 daughter value and mag magician in the mirror here for who or what our beautiful Scorpios are attracting to them? We get a message of peace, power, and protection. So strategy, Someone is planning, preparing, strategizing. See that? Didn't I say someone's mustering up the strength? Because remember what was hidden is confidence is the key to your success. So this is that same person mustering up the strength to come towards you. Strength, courage, and wisdom. So this person, they could have been um, perhaps a karmic. They could have been someone who had a certain circumstance unfold in their life. And they had to learn to, to take their power back. Because with that page that showed up, I feel like someone was a little, you know, maybe they were not as emotionally intelligent as you in the past. And maybe that's why there's a little uh, bit of hesitation or a little bit of fears or intimidation, whatever you want to call it. But now it's like they are uh, kind of like owning their power, taking control of their own subconscious thought and not so much living in their head. Maybe they were the ones that was indecisive. Uh, we have Beyonce and this is called Lemonade. So, you know, I do get a sense of like with this energy, um, you know, someone definitely may see you uh, as, you know, see you as someone who's, you know, just maybe, uh, you know, how do you say, you know, because lemonade is a lemonade is it could be sweet but lemons are very tangy uh you know so maybe they they, they don't know what kind of you know because if you just suck on a lemon it's, it's it can it, it can kind of like sting you know i'm just getting stingy like it's stinging it'll sting you know there's a a certain um there's a certain i don't want to call it a spice but it is kind of like it, it it's tangy I, I don't know how to explain it so maybe they they don't know like how you're going to um, 
how you're going to feel or how you're going to respond because remember that five so they don't know if you're salty they don't know if you're if you're still you know sour you know that's the word I was looking for thank you spirit so they don't know if you're still sour off of something that happened in the past um, if this is a past person it doesn't have to be like a karmic ex this could be just somebody that you were dealing with or talking to maybe you were dating them for quite for a little bit of time or you know what I'm saying seeing somebody whatever the, the case they're trying to like figure out how to come towards you so this is really like that energy of like planning preparing um, I feel you are definitely wise enough to know um, or maybe you're expecting someone maybe you've manifested this but let's tap in and see why is uh, emotional love here I mean emotional loss here for how uh, see that look at that they coming toward you you've moved away so they feel like you definitely moved away from those murky waters you know from a very uh, burdensome situation uh, to go and create like a safe space uh, to create you know a sacred space uh, to really have peace in your life uh, because you've experienced a lot of loss a lot of hurt a lot of pain I feel this person is going to take action and is going to uh, travel to see you whoever this is this will be someone that will surprise you I feel um, because remember we had that that um train going by and i felt like this was someone who was at a distance and it's 5 44 on the clock and that reduces to four so i do get a sense of this being like a masculine a divine masculine uh maybe a twin flame six and five reduces to 11 so that's one half of a twin flame and i've been speaking uh on this being like you know the the two of cups so this is someone who feels like you are someone that they could have equal exchange of give and take you are their twin flame their better half their soulmate, their kindred spirit. Um, this is definitely someone who's attracted to you. What's hidden in the energy is I feel like this person is so attracted to you. They love you. And this card was kind of peeking out and I looked and it's the wheel of fortune. So something's going to happen in divine timing. I feel like there's a turning point when it comes to love. I feel like something that may have been kind of delayed, blocked for whatever reasons. Maybe there were some karmic situations going on. Maybe someone was stubborn. Maybe someone needed to muster up the courage. Maybe there was karmic cycles completing I feel like now you know there's a turning point there's something coming full circle I feel like the exes the karmics are getting uh you know kind of like purged out of the you know the the, the, the scene or you know removed from uh the equation and that is going to make space for this destined couple to be together this is almost like destiny type of thing and with prosperity lies ahead i feel like it's going to be very abundant it's going to be very successful even if this is in regards to you coming back into um harmony with yourself you uh finding that uh, equilibrium with yourself it leads to success because this empress is not only is she powerful uh but she's a master manifester she embodies all of the characteristics and attributes of the queens if this is a divine masculine same thing is applicable but this is really like you know something that's destined it's um like a, even a destiny type of love so why is uh confidence is key uh prosperity lies ahead here for what's hidden in the energy for my beautiful Scorpios let me get a message of peace power and protection spirit so those cards there and so we have the Queen of Pentacles here so someone definitely seems to have been you know tied up with perhaps or you know a, another situation uh, maybe this is just your energy now uh, very much like I said independent um, self-sufficient so we have the Queen of Cups that's your energy so there could have been two people in the equation, a wife, a girlfriend. Uh, we have the king, um, Knight of Wands. We have the Six of Wands and we have the Two of Pentacles. So someone was juggling. I feel like that's the that was what the holdup was. If there was a sense of indecision or indecisiveness, that's why Spirit was saying be patient because someone definitely is realizing that they have love for you, but they didn't have the strength to walk away from a situation. Uh, maybe there was someone manipulating their energy or uh, perhaps guilt tripping another person. This could have caused you a lot of pain because maybe you loved someone and they chose other, um, you know someone else they chose someone else over you rejected you I feel now you know in hindsight someone is realizing uh, how they feel about you uh, maybe they were juggling you maybe this is someone that was um, you know that you had uh, distant 
distanced yourself from uh, because of, you know, just the pain of the connection. So you felt like you needed to create, you know, the pain of the connection felt like you needed to create like boundaries. You needed to get away from the situation so that you could almost like, you know, just focus on healing yourself. That's why the emotional loss card showed, I mean, the emotional withdrawal and the rest and rejuvenate card showed up because that's how that person perceived you before we pulled your card. So they see how you've healed thyself. You've taken the time you see how he's applying his own hand. So that speaks to healing thyself. And you've healed thyself because you gave yourself the grace, the space, and the time to do so. You got away from the things that were causing you pain. You cut yourself free from the people, places, and things that were causing confusion. Uh, even someone who could have been juggling. This is someone who was living in denial, I feel. You know, they were being led to you, but they were denying it, ignoring it. You see how the waves, the waters are like really up, you know, up to his head their head so it's like it's almost like they they were, they had deeper emotions than they let on and i feel like they were kind of flighty unreliable in and out and i feel like you know this is what caused you both to be at odds because someone was still trying to be a playboy running around um you know trying to juggle multiple people and I feel like for you, uh, this wasn't your love language. So you definitely, you know, chose yourself, focused on yourself, uh, chose to love you. You know, that's why your chalice is up close to you. It's close to your chest. It's not like you're extending it to anyone because you have been very mindful to protect yourself. And I feel like the more you focused on loving you and showed yourself that self-love, self-discipline, uh, that's how you uh, begin to change your vibration and frequency. You start to attract what you are and you have a major victory ahead. I feel someone is returning or someone could be coming towards you because uh, they see a victory. The sirens are going off, so be mindful because I do feel like you're going to have a decision. There's going to be a decision of a past person who's uh, giving off like, you know, playboy, play a player from the Himalaya vibes. So this is that person that's unreliable. This is that person that's very sneaky. This is that person that says what sounds good in the moment, but then they dash off and the siren is getting louder and louder. So this person could be coming closer and closer to you and they are nothing more than a distraction. What we have playing right now is we have Patti LaBelle. And this is called love, need, and want you. So with love, need, and want. So someone may be very possessive. You know, that's what this lusty energy, you know, they kind of move without thinking. They rush in, you know, without a plan, uh, you know, because they're just, you know, it's lust. It's I need, I want, you know, they could love you all they want. Um, but I feel like spirit is telling you uh, that you have a victory ahead. Regardless of what takes place, regardless of who this is, someone could be, you know, still attached to a queen of pentacles. Maybe they're ex exiting some sort of situation. Maybe someone sees you as a wife, sees you as very successful or very abundant. With this door to value, maybe they see you as their meal ticket. You know, because this is the person you're attracting and it says door to value. So maybe they see you as a meal ticket. They see you as someone that is very abundant, very successful. And that can be the reason why they're coming in so that they can, you know, kind of you know, kind of get in where they fit in, kind of reap the benefits of being in your likeness. Yeah. So let's tap in. Why is Watchtower of the West? The water. Thank you, Spirit. See this? Eight of Swords. So this is really about, you know, um, trusting what you see. Don't deceive yourself. Look at things from a different perspective because there's some confusion here. You see all these clouds. So spirit is telling you to trust your, your intuition. That's why I was getting that because there's someone that's coming in with real love. And then there's someone that spirit is saying, you need to like, you need to get rid of this person. You need to get rid of someone. Um, you need to get rid of one person because this is cleansing and with love, need and want you, so somebody may want you, they may need you because you may be like, you know, the one that you may have been like the breadwinner with that queen of pentacles keeps showing up. But I feel like, you know, spirit is telling you, uh, don't get mine upped out here. Like really trust your intuition because this could be self-deception as well. You know, don't just get all smitten and you know, bedazzled by words. Let me get one more message. Thank you, spirit. Look at that. We right back at the page of cups. And then we have this emperor here. See that? So own your power. Own your power. You may have um, an emperor that may, you know, they may be very, um, 
you know, very overbearing. This is someone who's determined to get what they want. So this love need and want you, someone may express these feelings of love, but I feel like this is, you know, going to cause a lot of confusion. And that's why spirit had that siren going off because I do feel like for us, you know, even if this is, um, even if this is like an ex-husband or marriage, we got the Page of Swords. Remember I told you someone was spying because we got this uh, Watchtower of the West and the Watchtower of the East. And I was getting the sense of someone spying. So this person may be spying and they may say something. They may send you a message. And I feel like Spirit is telling you, like, don't get stuck. Don't get gaslit. Don't get duped. Don't get bamboozled hoodwinked out chair let me get one more message spirit why is uh these cards here for the outcome let me get a message of peace power and protection spirit bottom of the deck we got the 11 11 so the four so you do have a twin flame union connection i do feel like that's why we we have this because you got two people coming after you and we got the tower so there's going to be a tower moment something that is an illusion this is why you're so confused. Uh, Spirit is telling you, trust your intuition. Every tower uh, is very um, indicative of some sort of ending. And this is an ending because you're going to see something for what it truly is, or something is going to come to light. There's two people falling from the tower, which is typically, um, you know, uh, the, the king and the queen of this tower. So if you are in a marriage, in a relationship, in a partnership, something is going to crumble. Even if this is, um, you know, someone that you have been with for quite some time or someone you may reside with someone you may live with i feel like this this uh, this humble abode um is going to crumble and i feel it's because you have a more uh deeper more profound connection that you are to forge with your divine counterpart uh there is a spiritual partnership with someone that you have a very divine and very sacred uh connection with and that's why spirit is getting rid of anything that does not serve you that's why spirit was saying it's time for this cleansing so cleansing is literally like clean clearing and cleansing your energetic space clearing clearing and cleansing yourself um getting rid of what no longer serves you getting rid of faulty belief systems ideologies people places things so that you can make room for the new so getting rid of the old so that the new can come in because you have a very profound beautiful connection that you are to forge with someone and underneath that we get the knight of cups Look at that. There goes the two of cups I was talking about. I can't make this up, beloveds. So this is why um, this tower is falling. This is why there's this cleansing, this purge. This is why you're going through this purification. This is why you had to go through the hurt and pain. Uh, because in this lifetime, you are meant to call, uh, come into union with your divine counterpart. And we have um, Sade. And this is your love is king. And so whoever this person is, uh, and it's 656 on this clock, which represent, uh, which reduces to eight. So that's definitely like a wish fulfillment. Remember we had wish playing earlier by Carl Thomas. So your love is king. So I do feel like this is someone that feels that above all, um, your love is royalty. Your love is you know, what gets them excited. You know, your love is the love uh, that they truly uh, wish to have. Your love is king. Your love is queen, beloved. But this is your reading. I hope the message is resonated. Thank you so much for tuning in, tapping in. If you found that it did, please be kind. Hit the like, the share, the subscribe. Definitely hit the bell notification. Check out my consultation um, bookings. I am taking consultations. I do have some um, openings. Check out my Etsy shop. I got some dope items. Uh, and subscribe if you haven't already. I thank you so much for tuning and tapping in. If you are returning, you already know what it is, beloveds. Love is love is love. Until next time. Peace.